Hey guys. Okay, I've managed to sit down for a couple of minutes um, down here in the dungeon. I thought I'd turn the camera on while I am working. Um, I can't sit for long. I have a really, really sore back. And I can only sit for a couple of minutes at a time. So I thought this time while I'm down here, I will turn this on um, and just do a bit of filming. Um, so I'm painting some cogs that I've cut out of um, packaging. Um, I've just used one of those mother containers, oh, packaging box things. Um, I don't even know if I've got... Let me have a look. I don't know. These old, you've seen me use them before anyway. I don't have any handy. Um, but anyway, so I've cut these out of mother packaging um, using my Big Shot. Yes, I'm finally playing with it. And I'm using these in my next journal. So um, I thought I would do a little bit of painting um, for a few minutes. Like I said, it's not... Um, won't be for very long um, so I'll probably pause this and add on another video um, yeah my back oh my gosh it is so sore um, I need a chair that's what I need um, <laughs> just, oh my gosh anyway so I think hubby said he'd buy me a new chair this weekend so um, we'll see see if that helps the problem um, but yeah, there's nothing worse than having a sore back, I can tell you. Um, so yes, so these are going in my next little tiny, it's just going to be a little journal, um, like the one I made previously, I'll leave the link to that up um, in the corner, up here. <laughs> Got the camera pushed right down. Um, because the zoom's not working properly, so I've had to put it literally right in front of my face so you can see what I'm doing. Um, uh, and I'm digressing. What was I talking about? Um, yeah, it's just going to be a little tiny journal. Um, not in a journal, just a notebook. So I'm not sure what I will need, um, so I'm just painting a few of these I have done some I'll just show you these were using um, the rust paste and I've just given them a coat of um, varnish um, nice texture um, but this time around I thought I would use um, paint and see if I can get the same um, the same effect just by using paint so I'm just giving these the initial coat of brown it's just um, what is it burnt umber um, Montmartre all right so they're done there yeah. they're what I did previously so I'll just bring them over they're dry and I'll push these out of the road um, to dry. All right. Um, what next? I've got my yellow. Um, I've got some burnt sienna, and I will use because I love it so. Um, I will use this blue patina um, paste stuff oh my gosh my back oh oh i don't mean to whinge but oh it is painful really painful okay so this is um where i use my fingers this is where i'll get messy so i just want to i don't want to cover the whole lot i just want to give it a a rough up uh, you can see um, it looks very glary from where i'm looking on the camera let me see if I can turn one light off. No, that doesn't work. How about that? No. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Hopefully it'll turn up okay. 
so but no, I just thought I'd turn this one while I'm fiddling down here um, while I can anyway and share with you what I'm doing so I probably won't use all these in it because it's you know like I said it's only little um, but who knows at least I'll have them done for um, for next time little teeny ones it's a bit too much but that's okay so just a dab here and there got to get messy need to feel the paint <laughs> No wonder my nails are always so gross. Now I know why people um, paint their nails. I was thinking, why do these crafters always paint their nails? They always look so nice. Mine would be ruined in seconds. But it stops. Look how gross they are. <laughs> i got paint under them. i got dirt. Well, I was in the garden um, earlier, trying to pull out a few weeds while my back was good. Um, so, yeah didn't do much I can tell you okay so there's burnt sienna done I'm not burnt sienna um but yeah it is burnt sienna oh, um I'm just going to use a little bit of this yellow ochre um need to get myself some more of this I'm running out I use it a lot oh jeez is there any left yep there we go too much I don't need that much but that's okay just um give it a like a little rusty appearance so they're all going to have similar colorings unfortunately um, but that's just the way it goes yeah it's been fun playing with my little um big shot i have to um do it more often but no I just needed some cogs oh, I've already got some here um, I needed some cogs for this little project I'm working on and I will give you a look at it very soon um, oh stop playing with the bottle you've got it down on the paper really hmm. So we're nearly at the end of the month, guys. This is the last week. Well, full week anyway of um, August 28th. And then we're off to September. Spring. Love spring. It's my birthday month. Yeah, I'm a spring, spring baby. <laughs> I don't frolic though like little lambs. I don't have any frolics left in my frolics. <laughs> not not now. Anyway. Now let's do a little bit of this blue. I just want to wash my fingers out. I've got a jar of water here. I'll just stick them in there. So I don't want to get yellow in my blue, otherwise it'll be green patina and not blue, huh? old old rags all right let's give this a whirl shall we should put that in the water shouldn't I there we go see I put brown in it last time so I just I just like a little bit of blue on here and I don't have well, I probably do have blue paint somewhere, but I don't want to go hunting for it. <laughs> so I've only got a couple of colours here. Um, the rest are in a different part of the, under the house here. All right, let me have a look. Just add a little bit of 
Oh, it's stuck to my finger. I'm trying to duck down between the lights so I can see what I'm not like camera so I can see what I'm doing I'll have to get that sorted yeah I don't know what's happened with the zoom and the computer did an update and whatever happened it's messed up my um camera and I don't know how to get it back to default settings it's um really weird anyway um which one have I missed this one a little bit of blue on there there we go. I'm not sure whether you can see that this is what they're looking like. Um, so I'll just wash my finger. Oh. Again, stick it in here. And the good thing about this acrylic paint is it doesn't take long to dry, um, which is good, especially on little projects like this. It doesn't take long at all. Okay, well, I'm just going to pause this because I need to stand up. My back's um, aching, so I'll pause this and I will be back. Okie dokie. So I've just removed my little... Um, drop sheet that I had um, papers coming up I'll stick that down all right so now um, I'm going to give these a coat with some varnish um, and then I will let them dry um, and that will be it so this is the varnish I use um, Joe Sonia's or something or other gloss varnish um it's good stuff I, I like it so i'll just get some here on my brush just grab me little tweezers here these come in handy i think these were part of my husband's um ambo pouch because <laughs> um, he's an ex-ambo um, and he's got a pouch with um, bits and pieces in it and I'm pretty sure these come out of that I kind of um, borrowed them for good <laughs> anyway they get well used down here I can tell you okay so just give that a little bit of now if you buy this stuff at all just be aware um yeah this this is what i use on my um collage papers i varnish and whatnot on here and that helps seal it once i've finished doing what i need to do on here this is the next step so um what was i saying i have no idea oh this varnish um it does smell like it smells like varnish so it's it's got a if you're very sensitive to smells um, just be aware that this has got a very varnishy smell um, it washes out in water so you don't need terps or anything like that um, but yeah it's definitely a bit strong on the old nose but it is good more to do and then I'll let those dry I'll just move them so they don't stick all right this one whoops went upside down of course you did and landed on that one I'm doing well just landed on top of all these other ones that I've pushed out of the road <laughs> I knew it would be a good day today as soon as I dropped um, 
some bread with butter side up. I knew that it was going to be a fantastic day, guys. <laughs> I made my son's lunch for school and um, dropped a piece of bread, butter side down, all over the floor. And you just know that's the start of start of the day. All right, so I've just moved these up right up here um, so they don't stick to the paper because um, up here has been varnished so oh, here's one here I missed I missed a little one over here look at this little weenie baby one I can't miss you can I look. No. let me push you out of the road come up here to dry with the rest of your friends um, so once these are dry guys um, I will be back um, to work in my journal and you can work along with me if you want so um, I'm just going to wash my brushes out and get some fresh water and go for a walk around and stretch my back out and um, once again guys I'll be back okie dokie so now these are dry um, I'll just bring them up, see if you can pick up some of that um, pattern on there, try and get it in the right light. So I think they turned out quite nice. What's that underneath? A bit of paper stuck underneath. So yeah, they turned out quite nice. So um, I've got those. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull apart these um, eyelets here. These are incense that I use they're um, dupe sticks um, and they come with their own little incense burner so you stick your incense stick in in there you know I don't use them because I've got a proper holder so um, I try and use these where I can so I'll just um, pop them out they come in different like they're the same size boxes but these are always different like there's a pink one in there look like a purpley I'm just not sure whether you can pick it up but it's like a pur purpley color um, and yeah they're they're all always different like different sizes um, so yeah they're very they're nice they're um, good to use um, in different things so I'll pull these out see this one here's still got its little plug in it that one's a bit tight to get out I get me handy dandy tweezers see if I can prise that out of there And I do use the boxes um, as tags. Oh, that's why it's got a big lip on it. Squeeze that down. Um, so I use these as tags. So if you ever get something that smells nice, it's probably the cardboard <laughs> that I've used <laughs> as a tag or something. Um, come on, you can do it. There we go. And this one. Let's see if I can pop this one out. That was easy. Take that out of there before I. Alright, so now that's done, I'll be able to um, use these on something, no doubt. Um, and I try and keep, like here, I've cut out little um, things from the card. And so I save what I can and use what I don't. So I just put them in my bag there with all my um, bits and pieces in to go through later. Um, so these are what I plan on using um, in this little notebook. So I'll just put them now. Um, 
All right, now let me find my notebook. I know it's here. So this is what I've been working on, on and off, to try and get this ready to go. Um, like I said, it's only tiny. Um, it's just made out of this um, stuff here. Um, that's out of the soft drink boxes. Um, this card whoop, here. So I'm trying to use that cardboard up and I'm making little um, notebooks. This is my template size. So that's the, a template. And um, I thought I'd try and do it in the style of my bigger journals, but a smaller version. So I've covered this in um, packaging. Um, like, I think it was a Hungry Jack's bag, actually. Um, and I've painted it. Um, cardboard. And I've used my microfish in underneath there. Um, so I'm starting to use that. It's really nice to use in, in projects. So anyway, um, so this is what I've done so far. Um, so now I'm up to embellishing um, my journal or my notebook. This is a, my one of my coin envelopes that I sell in my Etsy shop. Um, so I've just added a little pocket. But anyway, we'll do a flip through at a later date. So right now, I've just got to try and figure out where to use these cogs um, and stuff through this journal. I might see if I can find a small one to put in the middle of this, actually. That would be nice. Would that fit in there? Oh, it does. Look at that. So I might stick that in the middle of there. So I'm going to push it in. Or is there a smaller one? Is there a smaller one? Just covered everything up. It's a little bit bigger by the looks. Oh, that one there. That one there would probably work. Right. So this is what I fight with. I might just have to make that hole a little bit bigger. Alright, there we go. That looks good. So I've just got that in the middle of there. So I'm just going to grab my crocodile because um, this bit's not quite pushed in. So I'll just grab my crocodile here and push that in. Just so it sits flat on the, um, the paper. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. All right. Mm. I think it come out a bit, but that's okay. Um, so this will be used somewhere in here, guys. So, so anyway, I just thought I'd come on for a catch up to um, let you all know what I'm up to. Um, I'm not up to much because I can't do much. Like I said, my back is sore, so I've got to get up every couple of minutes and walk around so not much um, is done unfortunately but um, I'll get there but anyway guys that's it for now um, until the next video give your loved ones a hug they're precious and um, I'll be back with a flip through of my finished notebook um, so there we go sneak peek <laughs> okay guys I shall talk to you all soon. Bye for now.